All right, back into Singleton because I want fourth Gauter. Just going to play this one more time. Well, one more time if I get five wins. And then we should be good. Lijad. Hand seems good. Here of Precinct 1. Got seven multicolor cards in here. Um, oh, this is the one to start with. Hits the hardest. I've been getting this Dauntless Bodyguard a lot on first turn, which is annoying. Oh, that's a good card to counter it. I do not want to make that trade. You got me. That trade sucks. Uh, yeah. I double block that. Yep. Uh, that's fine. Okay. So think look the way I'm thinking of blocking I keep one creature they lose all their creatures I don't like it per se actually you know what you know what with legions landing I can attack with three cards I actually don't mind not blocking for a turn flip this over yeah that's this is good this is good they hit me for four, I hit you back for four. Okay, they can block. Awesome, look at this happen. Yep, I'm happy paying for that. I will pay for that. Excellent. Now, yes, combat, attackers, boom. Get in there. They're going to swap me for my mentor of the week, meek, aren't they? Nothing can be done. They might not. Here of Precinct 1? Nah, that's... Needed to be expected. Okay. What do you say to that? I'll swap your Witness for my Mater of Dusk. I'm very happy doing that. Uh, the card's annoying, but... I think I can deal. They, you shouldn't attack. Ooh. Oh, it's just wrong. Um, let's see. If I attack with everything, this guy, um, no, he doesn't. Yeah, he gets to take out one of these for free. Witness can trade with a 1-1. One, one. That's not very good. This gets to... And then I adjust the strike to finish it off. I end up with an okay board. Or I wait till I get more 1-1s. One, Whoop. Okay. Nope. This part's happening. Oh, I get another 1-1. One, one. Yes. Anything I want to keep behind? Nope. Everyone go in. Fair. Can't do anything about that. Hunted Witness, though. What are you going for? Anything? Also fair. Get the lifelink. Ooh. Okay. That makes more sense. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna ping you. Oh, I get another guy. Oh, yes. Cool. That worked out well. That worked out well. If I were them, I would have considered trying to swap the hunted witness there, um, to get lifelink and they could start to 
draw some cards off this, possibly. I don't know. Baffling End's good against the Major of Dusk. I don't get a 1-1 Flyer. Uh, but they're blocking 2, taking 3 damage, uh, which they cannot like. Yep. Okay. Combat. Boom. Everyone get in there. That's fine. Yep. Enter. I think they have stabilized um, worryingly. So I can make some dudes. Yeah. They have three dudes to block my dudes. I'll just make a, I'll make a guy. Uh, I've got enough to push through one damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, hello. Ascend. All right, I'll pass the turn on that. My long term is just as good as yours now. I have more land than you. I have a flyer, which you can't match. Yeah, first strike, which is annoying. Your creatures are bigger than mine, which is annoying. Should I be running this? I feel like I should be with my deck. I don't think I've got a copy of it. I mean, that's not fun, is it? Oh, wait, but you still lose. Oh, well, GG. Oh, no, you don't lose. You. Hmm. You don't lose your guy's lifelink. They lose Hunted Witness to that card. Oh, that's annoying. They thought that through. Yeah. I want to say nice, but I don't think... Yeah, communication's tough. you waiting for? The jet one? What are you waiting for? Just block, block, block. I think, um, yep, that seems, yeah, it seems like a good way to block. Oh no, that's a bad way to block. That's the worst way to block, yeah. <laughs> Where's oops? <laughs> what? Why would you lose him? Oh, whatever. You want your hunted witness to die, unless you've got wrath. Oh, unless you've got wrath. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you'd want your Hunted Witness to die, and you'd want to keep your other guy alive to keep the blockers up. Keep that high number of blockers. I think yeah, I think they could have survived another turn there. Um, yeah, obviously turning the whole game around would have been really difficult for them. But I think they could have survived another turn. Instant soup. Delicious. Make a meal out of you. His hand is trash. His hand is less trash. That. I don't need that. Hello. Mm, okay. 
my opponent is ramping up. Uh, I'm sensing some bad times ahead. Green fat creatures, it's just not good for me. First strike vigilance. So what you're telling me is I'm playing against Rhythm Stompy and they've got their rhythm. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. They're confident and maybe they should be. Fair enough. Alright, I basically get one free turn to attack him. Okay, now if I'm lucky, I can keep doing a bit of damage in the air just for long enough to be able to do an alpha, a wide alpha strike, do enough damage. They're getting, they're getting, oh, I was going to say, they're getting small and not small amounts of fat creatures, but no, they have an ooze. They're getting large numbers of fat creatures. Bad times. Okay. Keep counters to the flyers and fly. I think that's the answer. Or do I give a plus one plus one counter to the aspirant and go in with him as well? So three, six, seven, eight. Bring them to seven. So. Whoop, not you. <clears throat> okay. Damn it. <laughs> oh. I'll take the five damage. If I take the five damage, well, they gave it a plus one plus one counter already. They should have hasted. Mm, that was painful. Yep. Yep. Let's see. To keep Ajani alive or not. Um. This guy's going to be able to do five by himself if I keep him alive. Let's see what this looks like. If I attack with everything, they have two blockers, they block the 5-5, five, five, the 4-4, four, four, they take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 damage. They take 7 damage, they lose their incubation druid. I only end up with one flyer. I have to make use of this now. Oh wait, yeah, they can't block the 4-4. Four, four. They take 8 damage. This is not killing them. I guess response can attack the Demanding Dragon 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, that was, that was actually really dumb. Oops, good game. Who's the beatdown? I... not me. That was sad. <laughs> My bad. Um, Alright, so playing Singleton, right? Or why, why am I playing Burn Bright? So, combination of playing Singleton and also playing Best of One makes Burn Bright a really powerful choice. Um... Why is that? You want you can't base a deck around a single card. In the previous round that I played, someone was trying to 
base their deck purely a, like they're playing Curious Obsession in the deck, running a single copy of Curious Obsession. That's just not going to work, right? This got to be able to see that that can't work. Oh, if I played Instigate, mm, anyway, I'm paying for the Justice Strike. That's why I played this. Um, so you can't play around a single card. Now my deck's called Burn Bright, but really I've got four kind of six cards, f kind of five cards that, that have a Burn Bright like ability. It's not Burn Bright, it's the deck. It's just got lots of lots of cards like Burn Bright, right? And lots of interactions that work around it. So the Leon and Vanguard um, works well when I have lots of creatures. Hero Precinct 1, Goblin Instigator both let me have lots of creatures. Every card that I'm playing is just helping me go wide, helping me do damage. Oh, I didn't even get to Justice Strike. That's okay. Uh, Sky Marcher Spirit is not not helping the theme. Just a just a strong card. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for them to play a nice three drop creature that I can just strike. Maybe a three three Angel. Uh, that'd be nice. There's some cards that they could play that wouldn't be nice. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I don't even know how I how I predict stuff like that. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, I do play the land just to give this guy flying. All right. Does white have a four mana wrath? They do settle the wreckage. Do I think they're playing it? Maybe. Maybe this is mono white control. Nope, no settle the wreckage. This is, I guess, my seventh. Oh no, sorry, my sixth burn bright. It's not really burn bright, but it's the same sort of cost, does the same sort of thing. Okay, linear strategy. That's what this is. You find just cards that help each other. Um, like one really focused strategy and you can do that because it's best of one. If there were sideboards and best of three, this deck that I'd be running would be trash. Everyone in their sideboards would have, um, would have mass removal, right? Any deck running red would run every version of two damage to all creatures. Uh, seems okay would run every version of two damage to all creatures, and that would destroy me. So I would not win games two or three at all. Um, oh, poor opponent. Sorry. I need a sorry. Like, I feel sorry for you. Um, yeah. If they win, mad respect to them. Uh, and also because the format is so restricted, right? We can only play one of each card. There actually aren't that many. Um, there actually aren't that many mass removal spells that you can run in your deck, right? It's hard to make a good control deck that has that has the answers you need all the time. Merfolk. I was considering Merfolk. I don't think it quite. Oh, yes, please. I don't think it quite works. That is to get the dude. Dauntless Bodyguard. He's going to select Hero of Precinct 1, which I think makes a lot of sense. Okay. See what I bust? I just um, real. Oh, last turn. I just realized that none of the creatures in my deck, except one, the 4 4 Leonin. Has toughness of four. Um, also, all the green decks I'm facing just have creatures that I find it really tough to get around. Um, so Citywide Bust is just the perfect choice to deal with them. Yeah, we'll go on with the Bodyguard. I looked at the Merfolk, I counted how many Merfolk cards I had as one-offs. It was like 24. 
I thought I'm going to need another sort of 15 cards to round this out um, and that's not going to be focused enough. But Merfolk is again along the right along the right lines. Post sideboard, Merfolk would suck. Cool. Um, but pre sideboard, Merfolk's really good. Unfortunately, my opponent does not know the card in my hand. Um, if they did, I'm sure, yeah, they would not have done that. Oh, this is a this is a beast in my deck. Absolute beast. They're thinking about responding because they can make their guy unblockable for a turn. There you go. Absolute beast. Okay. Cool. I, you know, a deck around this guy, I could see that. Three wins. Okay. Two more. Not allowed to lose. Two more wins. Then I get my fourth Gouter and I can stop playing this. Um, so in my second time playing, I had did tweak my deck slightly from the first time I played. I... I even crafted a single Ixalan's Binding. I can't play this. I can play, you know, I've got my own. The lack of mountain is worrying. Oh, my opponent's mulliganing again. Six cards is doable. Um, with the scry rule, six cards is not nearly as bad as it used to be. I always forget that you get to scry because I'm an old player. So um, I think I... Um, I think I undervalue mulliganing to six. It's not nearly as bad as it as it used to be. Thorn Lieutenant, solid. Really solid. Um Yep. No attacks. Alright. They get a one one guy. That'd be really good for the green red version of what I'm playing. Really, really good. Oh, dude, maybe they're playing. Oh, they're playing the deck. I like this. I like this more. Um, okay, yep. Drill Master. Which one's first? Yep. And yes, I'll draw the card. Oh, very nice. Um, next to combat. Going with this guy. You can't stop him, just take, just take four. There we go. And we'll go for this. Okay. I'm hoping somehow they get a permanent boost to their whole team so Citywide Bus destroys them. That would be nice. I also have my red. I can go Resurgence, First Strike Vigilance, but this Thorn Lieutenant is just good enough for that to be a painful way to go about things. Um, I'm going to keep um, milking my mentor of the meek for all he's worth. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And doing some incidental damage, getting that life total to a spot where I can alpha strike them with heroic reinforcements or something like that. Uh, five mana versus green white is a problem. They've got life game, they can go wide. They're obviously willing to go wide. Oh, this is perfect. This... Ooh. 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 That... Ooh. Okay. Okay. Which one to play? Heroic Reinforcements? I think it's Heroic Reinforcements. It is, right? Um, let me count the damage. So, assuming they block, say, the Scarlet Legionnaire. This does 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It kills them. Trumpet Blast, assuming they block that, does 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. They both do equal amounts of damage. I may as well do the one that lets me draw a card in the process. Yep. G, G.
Burn Bright is all about waiting for that alpha strike. Okay, one more win. This is the game. Everything is riding on this one. I can't. If I lose, I'm out. If I win, I get my Galta. The hand seems fine. Hero Precinct 1 into Skylight Legionnaire is beautiful. I've got my Burn Bright. Hope you can hear the inverted commas in what I'm saying. Burn Bright. Lovely. Lovely. Oh yeah. Okay, so they know that I'm playing more than one color, otherwise why is Hero Precinct 1 in here? But they don't know what the other color is. I This loses a lot of its punch not being able to get another Growth Chamber Guardian. Okay, hit me for two, play a creature. They're wider than me at the moment. Oh, they're building up to something too. That's not fun. All right. Things are working out really well for me though. Really well. Really, really well. Yeah. Oh, all attack. Get in there. Have fun. I don't think they should block, so they're going to go to 16. And on my turn, I'm playing Swift Blade and probably the Drill Master. Drill Master will let me push some extra damage through. I can probably go for the flying and maybe like a, a four power hero. Oh, are you going to attack me with that? You are. You think you're the beat down. You know what? This is how I lost that other game though. Uh, Leona War Leader. That's a real choice to make here. So if I go Swift Blade, I end up with two creatures plus another one with the Tithe Taker. The of Water gives me three creatures. I'm not seeing any removal coming out of this opponent. So this is actually the true way to go wide. Um, now, these two are attacking, but do I need this one? I'm taking six to go to six. But the Leonin War Leader should hopefully be gaining me a bajillion life. So he's coming in as well. Uh, I'm hoping to win next turn. Let's see what they've got. They don't have the mana to play a giant worm. Uh, no blocks. I'm taking eight. Would it mean a four? I think four. Ooh, if they've got a titanic growth, they've won. They do not. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So by there. <laughs> it's Gauta. Uh, okay. Inspired Judge costs four. So I I th think this kills them. They block those two. They take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, they're dead. So it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> Playing, playing this format, Singleton takes me back to the days where, what are you doing? To the days where I used to call this Highlander. I got to get used to naming these things by the right name. Pseudo. GG. Pseudo Burn Bright for the win. All right. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm just going to double check. I had two Gouters to start with, right? Uh, yep. Collection. Two regulars, two big ones. Okay, I'm good then. See you all later.